players suck. Literally every single good player I've had the pleasure of playing with or running for was a GM taking a break. Every single time. Tell me about your players and why they suck ass. Your shit DM is only allowed in small doses. There's a lot you can do to be a shit DM, but everyone gets told that all the time. This is a thread for calling out shitty player behaviour. Nah, I will say, I will say, this isn't like a one-off. Everyone calls out shitty player behaviour. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, everyone like, calls you know. it like, <laughs> it's not that I, like this is a new thing. Yeah. <laughs> players are always creatively deficient. They fall into pathetically predictable comps of A, a player who needs to be smarter than the DM, IRL, and breaks character to show that they are. No, no, but you can do that with anyone. See people that, the worst is see people that claim to be like incredibly smart, but are really fucking thick as shit. There's there's nothing worse than that. Like, I'll I'll tell you, I mean, I'm a fucking brainlet. Alright? <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I, I, I hate the ego. I hate the ego yeah. attached to it, you know? B. Min-maxers focused on rules, but add almost nothing to the table. Generally, not too offensive. That's fine. No, I've got no okay. issue. I hate it when people are shouting rules in my ear constantly, but, like, it's okay. Uh, yeah. C. Players who have to insert their characters into everything. Okay, don't call me out like that, guys, <laughs> alright? I, I know I'm bad for it, but I try not to, okay? Example. Call for role from characters who the role is relevant for. Brainlet player says, I want to roll too, even though there's no reason for them to. Every fucking time. <laughs> These players can become homies if they understand and realise it's cool to take a back seat, to let others shine at the table, and trust that the GM and other players will be there for when it's their turn. Yeah, that's fair enough. Although, like, I, you know... I, I kind of... Th- think that's more they, if, just an eager player than anything. Yeah, but like, you know, like, if there's a load of people, like, you know, like, if there's a load of people in a room, and they're all in the same area, and yeah. they're all trying to work out the situation, mm-hmm. you know, I see no reason yeah. why, like, you know, you can't pitch in and be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm helping them in some yeah, way or, or the, form. Or, or, or this is just James reasoning his behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Look, guys, I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a bit ogre, overly excited, okay? Right? a ogre. <laughs> it's yeah. all ogre now, guys. <laughs> D. Players who get easily distracted or derails constantly. Not everyone has to be hyper-invested, but getting on the phone will impact the table. And it's disrespectful when someone took the time to prepare a game for you. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that at all. Yeah, I don't mind if a phone's out and somebody's looking at their... Oh, yeah. Because a lot of people have, like, their character sheet or what they're able to do, their abilities and stuff on it, so... I'm not. Once you start like mindlessly browsing Facebook or Instagram or something, or something it's like, what are you like, doing? Mm, all right, okay, calm you down there. Not that guy, but I GM'd a lot of different things, both online and IRL, randos, friend groups, and curated groups. I've met all but the first types. In fact, one of my first campaigns had two C class players. Are there different classes for players? Oh, James, we're um, definitely you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Twin sisters who had to be the centre of everything and derailed what was happening constantly to go on about inane shit they did while actual stuff was happening. The memory still upsets me. The players had involved themselves in some higher stake espionage. They've made contact with their handler, who they realise is possessed by an evil spirit, and at least some of the organisation is in on it, possibly working with or for the evil spirits. They don't know. They confronted the creature in a restaurant while sitting politely at a table. It's pretty tense. The creature piles lies upon lies, misdirection, and half-truths in order to make the players trust it. It's worth mentioning that one of the sea players had a good spirit guiding her. She was ideologically and metaphysically completely opposed to the evil spirit, and it was trying to corrupt her, and it seems to be working. The player showed doubt about the benevolence of her spirit, begins to actually question the spirit war, and the group seems to be teetering on the brink of working for what is basically Satan, because it can lie convincingly. Then, I mean, look, I've been in that situation before. Yeah. Like, yes, you know, we like, know. <laughs> yes, we know. Yes, we know. They're offering you a pretty good deal here, you know. <laughs> yeah. Then her twin sister declares, I get up to look around the restaurant for people with fancy clothes to try and sell my services as a tailor. <laughs> what? I don't go down nowhere in the middle of the scene. Because this wasn't catering to her. She didn't care about it, even though everyone else was utterly invested. Immersion broke and the scene was ruined and the spell was broken. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit. What the fuck? 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I would say read the room. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, read, read the room. Yeah. What the fuck's going on around <laughs> you? You know? Um, if it seems like an important moment, shut the fuck up if it's not your thing. You know yeah. what I mean? I've had plenty of shitty players, OP. But I've also had a handful of good ones. Just don't be afraid to expel people from the table. Yes. Yes. And, yes. yes. And, work with, <laughs> and work with your characters throughout every stage. Prove to them that the game is a collaborative effort. When you create characters, lay down strict guidelines for how you want characters to be made and help each player come up with a goal for their character. Your players will enjoy their characters more and they'll be more willing to get into the groove and interact with the game and the table. You know, that's one thing I've always kind of thought about. Sometimes when it comes to certain games, the DM might be ideal to just make a ton of like blank character sheets mm-hmm. and then just like give them like a basic archetypes like yes. right okay i've got some ideas for how this game's going to be playing like you know if it's their own campaign they've written up the campaign you and know they the, the, these are like so a, much from the, it. these are like you know some of the characters i've kind of got in mind with of course you guys can go off and do your own thing with them you characters. twist them if you want you can do whatever you want but, them, but uh, this is like a kind of archetype that i've got yeah. in my head that i think would play really well into this game yeah and it would Save a lot. Well, actually, no, because we'd be out of job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But look, look, you're always going to get people's like, no, I want to play a tabaxi half elf fucking change gun vampire. Bard. <laughs> oh, God. Like, there's nothing wrong with bards. Bards are actually a really fun class, but fuck me. Do some of the people that play them? Oh, like, I'm not going to get into that. Punish bad role play and encourage good role play with rewards. Give out XP based on good role play and scenes. I've fun. always loved that concept. Yeah. I kind of wish that was more of a thing. I'd never get XP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be fucked. Yeah. It's like, oh, what are you going to do? Uh, apply hammer to face? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if a player is being lazy, decrease their XP amounts accordingly. If they still can't get with the program, then start putting scenarios in the path that tests them. Make the risk of every action become gradually higher until the player realises they're doing something wrong. At that point, they'll either adjust accordingly or they'll keep being a dummy and get their PC killed, get their stuff taken, or even get kicked out of the game. I think it would honestly quit before yeah. any of that. Yeah, like, you know, probably. I, like, see if I was in that situation, like, you know, and I was like, wait, wh- why the fuck are all these cons getting XP in here and I'm not? You know, you kind of need to say, it's like, well, you're doing shit at the whole goal plan aspect, mm-hmm. and, you know, you know, you're doing stupid shit. Yeah, well, if, if it's mapped out, like, at the beginning of the game, then people know what to expect. Like, I suppose it's, it always comes down to... You need to get with the program on yeah. what type of game you are playing, yes. you know? It also helps to play games beside D&D. I can't stand D&D for one fucking second and think it's the most casual shit anyone has ever invented. Of course, the type of people who play D&D are going to be low effort retards. <laughs> okay, don't call me out. Okay. Okay. They don't know what they're doing. 5th edition caters to the lowest fucking denominator. Half the player base for D&D have brain rot and normism pumped deep into every into, ver, into their very brain. Veins. The middle of the veins. <laughs> Fuck, I can't speak. This is what happens when retards don't get, keep their communities. <laughs> well, look, I, I, look, I'm not going to argue with them. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, like, okay. Like, not going to argue, but I am part of that community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, let's be serious, So. 5th edition is hyper streamlined. Yeah. It's very it's a very easy to jump into game. I, I'm I'm perfectly cool with it. I'm, I'm fine I'm, with I, it, especially for new players and stuff. It's yeah. it, it's good for that and also it's fucking it's, impossible to get a game of GARPS, alright? I'm pinning it out there right now. <laughs> all people do is wank over oh my god, GARPS is like the best game ever. It's like look, I don't Nobody like, fucking plays it. You find you find a fucking group, alright? And add us. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties, oni bitties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. The closest I've ever had bar one guy, I haven't played with since. Kicked him out when he proved to be a problem player. Based. <laughs> Was a guy in a Digimon game. Oh, okay, like, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, <laughs> you're blaming it on yourself in a Digimon game, alright? I'm not, I'm not gonna, I can't, I can't I defend can't you guy. No, I can't, I can't defend, defend you. you. Was a guy in a Digimon game I run who made the most obnoxious mechanical build possible. It was all toxic, stall, war, 
war grow. Like I haven't, I haven't watched Digimon since I was oh. like you know about six or seven. Yeah, basically since I've been about five, I've yeah. watched Digimon. Digimon was pretty cool though. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon, Digimon fighting thing. champions. Yeah. Although they kind of like they, their evolved form was nothing on Pokemon. It kind of turned into like weird yeah. knackish shit. Like this is video's <laughs> not about Digimon. Come on, let's keep going. You don't need to know what War Grolamon is. All you need to know is that his giant mecha dinosaur gave all of his enemies literal cancer. <laughs> Thanks to radiation that's so slowly Godzilla, gutly mecha yeah. Godzilla. Thanks to radiation that slowly killed them by making it so that they had durations for the poison effect so long that they just killed over after about six rounds of combat. Thing couldn't hit anything for any real damage since he dumped the damage stat and now that it's evolved again, it's not a problem. Especially when the game is ending soon. But that's probably the most cancerous thing I've seen someone do in a tabletop role-playing game. The actual player himself is fine. GM's on the weekends. Seriously, why the fuck would you ever play with people who don't get on with your grip? <sighs> exactly. <laughs> like, all I'm saying is, I don't think that sounds the worst. Because, like, you know, think about this. Is he causing radiation damage to his allies as well? You know, uh, is he killing the rest of the team? Is everyone going to die of cancer by the last session? Is he a wa- like? Is he just a walking Chernobyl? Yeah, essentially. Is he, like, that elephant foot? Yeah. Have any seen that picture of the elephant foot? It's hyper cursed. <laughs> it's it's hyper-cursed. hyper-cursed. <laughs> there are some players out there whose single fucking concern in life is finishing your goddamn stupid piece of shit build. Like, I'm still working on it, okay? <laughs> not the world, not the NPCs, not the politics. Not all the shit I spent an entire week to prep. No, it's all about their fucking build. Out of game discussion about the game. It's just their min-maxing power game fantasy with an excluded Excel sheet calculating... Included Excel sheet. Oh, included, sorry. <laughs> Excel sheet calculating average damage between three different classes. In-game, if it doesn't let them get closer to that goal, they fucking stop paying attention. <laughs> Why is that always the case? <laughs> yeah, it is. My fucking god, that annoys me so much. Yeah, you can be a power gamer and be thrice as powerful as the new guys on the table, that's fine. In real life, not everyone is equal, but Jesus fucking Christ, shut up! Nobody wants to hear you fucking player build! (laughs) That's the thing. DMs that have turned into playing can see beyond XP grind and the little numbers because at some point they had to manage the world itself. For players, their world begins and ends with that character sheet. But that is just one type of behaviour that pisses me off. I think they summed that up quite nicely with the way players see it. And how the DMs do. Yeah. Because I do find myself, like, if I'm in a tight situation, and I'm like, oh, fuck, what's going, what are we going to do? I do end up sitting, like, in between turns. I'm sitting scar in my character sheet. Mm-hmm. Think, what do I have? What do I have? Yes, do I have any yeah. items? Do I have anything backed up? Do I have any? Like, do I have anything stuffed in my pocket that I just can't remember? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, oh, what, what can I do? Oh, could this ability work? Oh, maybe if I interacted with the train at this point. I do find myself doing that quite often. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, maybe I am a victim of that. Uh, not not a victim of I, Excel. Uh, Excel can suck my dick. I fucking despise Excel. Excel is possibly... He actually knows how to work, Excel. Oh, uh, no, I fucking despise Excel. I spent fucking four months in a course <laughs> doing Excel, and I end up quitting that course and going back. All right, I'll tell you how, what I did. Right? I did electrical electronic engineering for two years. I was like, okay, I can do this, but I'm not very good at it, and I'm not really all that interested in yeah. it. I'm more interested in computers, if I'll be honest with you. Yeah. So I decided, right, I'll go do ICT instead. Went to the ICT, and fuck me, Excel can <laughs> suck my dick. Like, if you want, I can do shit on a computer, but I'm not. Databases? No. No. No, and the, the mere thought of, oh yeah, something I can do for fun, I'm going to incorporate Excel into it. <laughs> fuck me, sort your life out, would you? The other fucking cancerous type of player that pisses me off, and I've just outright kicked in the past, is the players versus GM <laughs> yes. type. Yes. Yes. Or the GM versus players as well. Yeah, like, it, it, look, it's just as bad. Mm-hmm. Vice versa. I'm you like, why, why the fuck do players just like, I'm going to fuck with the DM. <laughs> like, you know, that's just going to end <laughs> do badly. It? <laughs> do it. Oh. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it. <laughs> Back when I was a fresh fucking GM and didn't know how to do this whole thing, I had the misfortune of being approached by some autist that I will refer to as Axe. <laughs> Motherfucker could recite entire rule books by heart. Every FFG 40k game 
I could throw at him and a fuckload of Pathfinder 1 edition builds. He could not only recite rule books remembering entire builds for both games, but also give you every single broken build you could imagine. He was in a four hour conversation with a guy and in four hours he, and this is not paraphrasing, these were his words, this is how you make the DM miserable. He genuinely saw the game as us versus him. The DM was a force that needed to be overcome. The DM is there to kill you, maim you and take your character away. He did not see this as a collaborative story. As a role playing game, no no. He saw this as an exercise to browbeat the DM, to outsmart him, to put on a smug face and shit all over this DM's screen. I have no idea what kind of life led this man down that dark path, but needless to say I never allowed him anywhere near my table. But I met someone who did let him on. Oh god. Needless to say he had no good things to say about that man. He never engaged with NPCs, and when he did, it was pure cringe. He spent all his time out of game pestering players for the way they built their character. By the way, it was Pathfinder first edition game. And he made balancing encounters almost impossible, so the GM felt he had to keep scaling everything up. That's the problem you get with party <sighs> gamers. Though. Yeah. It is. It's Everything has to be scaled up specifically for them. Yeah. And then the rest of the players are just sitting there useless. What is wrong with this fellow, though? I, I ha- what happened to him? Who Where, hurt him? He touched you. <laughs> I know. Someone touched you, didn't they? (laughs) And last, but absolutely not least, we just have the minimum effort players. Usually new fags that just saw something like Critical Role (laughs) or other people playing and decide that they want to join and try the game out. But unlike normal fags, they just do not ever put in any effort. You sit down to talk with them to get their character integrated into your world and give them some guidance and context. You help them learn the system and sort out their sheet, you try to engage them at every turn, and they never fucking let you. He does that, though. Most, I've, I, I've genuinely only time, uh, you know, for me, anytime I've, in, I've, like, you know, playing with people that have never played before. Yeah. Genuine, like, you know, for me, what I've came across is they're really eager. Yeah, they're really and they, eager and to really, learn, and, and they really, really want to get into yeah, it. You know, I find them the more excitable role player types. Yeah, they it can, can be quite quite cringy, but like it can be, but like you know, like, 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 thing, but like, <laughs> like we're playing fucking me, believe it's all cringy. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, that's not what I get myself. Yeah. But yeah, no, you get you get one yeah. say, You know, they were. <laughs> They are always alt-tabbed, even during a fight, where everyone takes turns in less than 15 seconds, slowing down the game. They never talk with other players, or talk in general. You have to pry any sort of conversation out of them. They have not, and will not, ever read the fucking rulebook, even if you hand it to them in real life. They will never have their sheet prepped. Ye. Yeah, that's that is ye. Yeah, You're fuck. the worst person I've ever came across when it comes to, yeah. oh, is your sheet ready? Have you got it sorted out yet? Yeah, I, I know we leveled up like three sessions ago, but like, Look, like it's just not sorted out yet, you know? Call me out. <laughs> yeah. You call me out, I'm going to call you out. <laughs> oh, you just have an item? You better mark down that you give him the item because he sure as shit isn't going to write the down. You used how many spell slots? I counted you used three, you dumb fuck. Learn how to note down your spells. And that's why I don't play spellcasters. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting used to it. No. I've, I've been playing a wizard. For the past good few months now, and I, I think I'm actually no, I'm, I'm, I'm on top forget. of it. My memory is too shit. I I have to mark it down whenever mm. we're doing it, though. I have to do it as we play. Yeah. When they do decide to engage, they make everything worse because they do not pay attention to anything that is fucking happening. Kicked and banned from the table instantly. Holy fuck! I hate these fucking people. If you want to sit by and only pipe up during combat until you learn how to play the game, at least fill your sheet and read what your class does. Thankfully, not all new fags are like this. Some of them genuinely engage. They'll make one or two absolute meme characters and just goof around. It's silly good fun between friends, and it's fine because they engage. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. You know what this sounds like to me? This sounds like someone who likes the idea of playing, of playing but, but not whenever it comes to actually play, they like, get bored. Yeah, this isn't for me. Or you it's know? just somebody who gets bored very easily. Yeah, well, you know, the problem is, like, role playing games, they are kind of slow. They're not, like, they're not, like, they're not video games. Yeah. You know, video games, I like to think of video games a lot of times, like, theme parks almost. I, I, out of curiosity, is is anybody listening who has, like, ADHD or anything who, have, who does have trouble playing games like this? Yeah. Because... I know personally it can be quite slow, especially in turn combat. Yeah. Um, 
do you have trouble like focusing yeah. on it? Is it like something you're trying to work with? Yeah, I've to never, try and not be like 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 so disengaged from the game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. For me, I've got no issue. You know, I'm yeah. I'm very happy. I enjoy. I enjoy it, you know, but yeah. I suppose, as you say, these sorts of games are not for everyone. Yeah. And, like, you know, people that have just went ahead, they've watched a few um, podcasts or they've watched, mm-hmm. like, you know, Critical or whatever, and they kind of like, oh, I know this looks really cool. This sounds really good. And, and then they get into it and they're, like, half asleep during the game and they don't talk to anybody. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, that, isn't it? Yeah. But what can you do? Player that only wants to play freak shit. Player that hates min-maxing so bad he min mins every character <laughs> you know i feel like teal does that sometimes i feel like teal specifically does that or teal just can't go for shit <laughs> well <laughs> maybe he's just cursed player that can only pay attention during combat and said verbatim yeah but i don't care about this so i'll pay attention when something comes up that i'm interested in when i told them to shut up with this crosstalk during roleplay Ugh. what the fuck Player that tries to make jokes about everything and ruins any kind of serious atmosphere. Hey. You. <laughs> no, no. I do shut the fuck up when it comes to serious stuff, all right? No, I no, I do. I do. Jonathan, write in the comments. No, I'm Back not that. Up. No, I'm no, I'm telling you. I, I, I'm, I don't think I'm that bad. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Players that are doing something else while the game is on. With the highlight, someone literally being at his fucking work. <laughs> teal. <laughs> literally teal. <laughs> Mind you, mind you, like, you know, where he does it, you yeah. know what I mean, it's fine. Player who, during charging, talks about what his character will be like, and then proceeds to be nothing like that because he sucks ass at work. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone, everyone has that high hopes. <laughs> yeah. What's that? It's like, you know, the you know the meme, like, the manga, the anime, the Netflix adaptation? Yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> yes. a version of that, yes. but for, like, players? Yes. Or for, like, your character? The attention whore that inserts himself into every fucking scene. Don't even fucking look at me, Megan. Keep going. You. No. Edge fags. Okay. That- Stop, guys. This isn't fun anymore. <laughs> that guy who can't fucking remember what his class can do only uses one spell and gets salty Yay. when that doesn't work. Yay! 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 <laughs> <laughs> that guy who, after four years of playing, still doesn't know how to roll the hit. Uh, hi. I don't. I don't know if that's possible. That guy that brings real life politics into oh. the game. Oh fuck! Those fuckers who will never even consider another system. Yeah, I, I feel like I know people get comfortable. Yeah, like people do get comfortable, and they're like, "Nah, I'm alright." You know, I'm I'm happy just playing this. But I like trying new things, though. Yeah, I'm 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 not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to it. The big problem I've got is I I can only like you know at the minute I'm playing two games. And realistically, I haven't, like, you know, I'm more likely only playing one at the minute because yeah. I haven't played in, like, yeah. a couple, like, about a month or Two so in the other I game. I think, could be people's limits. To really yeah, and, like, you know, I just don't have the time. To focus on them. Yeah. Because Depending if you're like, playing any more than two, I think it... it, it well, I don't, not many people have the time. Exactly. Who the fuck's actually got the time to set aside, like, five to six hours a week, mm-hmm. you know, for, for one session? Se- for one session. Like, you know, it's two, I think, even then. I think that's a lot. Yeah. That guy who always wants to play evil fuckers and will attempt to fuck over the party. <sighs> most players are shit because most people are shit. Yes! <laughs> yes! Finally! <laughs> Speak about language. them, find new player, players, and cherish all good players you have. Oh! Pretty much. Yes. I, yeah, I agree with that. Yes! However, I do feel like... This should I, be a slogan of our fucking yeah, channel. I feel, I feel like I've... Uh, but then again, I, we're all like that. Everyone's yeah. like that. We, we all... No one's fucking perfect. No, no one's perfect. And, like, you know, we all do have our faults. And as long as I think you recognize them, you know, oh, wait, I'm actually kind of doing this. Maybe, you know what, actually, I'll dial, I'll try to dial that back. Yeah. You know, not, like, it comes with time. It comes with time. Yeah. So I think that's where we're going to end it today, I think. Um, Also, right, guys, before I forget, I should say we do have a backup channel because this channel got a guideline strike. strike. Well, no, it wasn't a strike. It was a warning. It got something on it. But it's one of those ones I don't trust YouTube. This channel got demonetized twice in the past over stupid things. They've sorted it out, of course, but I just don't trust YouTube at all. And, like, no no one fucking cares about this shit. Everyone's sick of YouTubers garden about fucking YouTube at this point. But... If go you on could, subscribe to the other channel. Go, go down, I, check out the other channel. 100% if you could. stroke there. <laughs> go and subscribe to the other channel. Yeah, what the Sorry. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you guys could, go down, 
Check out the other channel. Check out the video that's posted there if you haven't already. It helps us out a lot. Check out my channel. Oh, yeah, Megan's got a channel as well. Yes, she uploaded I, I it in uploaded. there, an hour long video. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. Hour long, if you want to just sit back and listen to some oh, spooky shit. stories. Yeah. Head I, on over. I, I, I like that one, the taxi driver you mean. That was a good one. Yeah. It was posted yesterday, but yeah, check that out. Check um, it on the like, You guys know how it is. Yeah, Fuck hit him. subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And yeah. See you later. See you in the next video. Bye.